guys so this is what I gathered for my spring decor and actually um, a lot of the stuff is from Luna's first birthday her birthday was last month um, but it was pink and white so a lot of that stuff I just saved um, so like these I'm not gonna use all these but I just placed them here uh, these uh, cake stands are from her party and then also those tear trays there these flowers here that are from Amazon um, I'll try to link down below anything I got off of Amazon but for the most part everything is from Target uh, and not even like inside of Target it's a Target bullseye section um, the 99 cent store and I think, I think that was it yeah so you know Target really has a lot of good deals like this was a dollar um, I think those signs down there were a dollar so you don't have to really you know break the bank to really decorate these I think were the only thing uh, besides the flowers but those are from again Luna's party um, but these I picked up from Amazon I'll link these below if you guys um, want these you guys know I'm into the plaid so how to incorporate that in there and these florals are from the 99 cent store um, so yeah and these huge posters a dollar so I think everything, I think the most expensive thing, to be quite honest, were these that I just picked up. These were $7. Um, but other than that, it's, I mean, I didn't really break the bank like I said. So again, you guys could really, um, you know, really decorate cute and not really have to spend so much. So let's see how I, just gather everything together I don't know how I'm gonna do it I just did want to keep like the pink theme I wanted to uh, just brighten up my house a little bit with some pink so that's the color that you will see most throughout the decor and then I am also gonna put up some pink curtains that I had from Luna's uh, nursery that I didn't end up using so let's go ahead and get started So I started off by removing the curtains that we had and I tried to put the pink ones on there without taking the curtain rod down but I struggled so I ended up having to take it down, place the curtains on it and then I put the rod back up. This was actually very uh, challenging for me because I'm short but uh, I got it done. And <clears throat> I'm actually even thinking about getting some pink plaid curtains. I liked the brightness that it brought to the room with the pink curtains. But I don't know. I, I feel like it's maybe too... Uh, like I feel like it needs a design, the curtains do. So um, I'm going to probably end up purchasing some pink plaid ones, which I think will look a lot better. And then I decided to change out the throw pillows. I originally just picked up the pink ones, but then I thought that, I don't know, maybe a pop of blue in there would look cute too for uh, spring and Easter decoration. So I did end up going back and ordering the blue ones. I'll link these below because I did get these off of Amazon.
So then I went over to the little center table that we have in the living room and I didn't get too crazy here um, only because Luna will grab everything that she can reach. So usually she will just take everything down <laughs> from this little table. So that's why I keep it very minimal and even having these little Easter eggs she'll probably end up trying to grab. But I did blue just so that it can pop out um, the blue throw pillows that I have on the couch. I felt like if I put some blue floral or something blue on this little table, it would really bring out the blue on the couch. And then the next thing I did was uh, go over to our entertainment center and we have these two little stands. Um, I wasn't sure if I should take out the greenery or if I should keep it. I'm still kind of unsure about it. But uh, I did end up just adding some pink florals from the Dollar Tree just so it could all kind of mesh together with all the pink that I have going on in the living room. And to again make the blues pop out a little bit more, I just added this cute little blue throw pillow. And then I added that gray blanket on the couch also. And this is what it looked like when it all came together. So now moving on to the fireplace and I started off by adding this <clears throat> uh, Easter egg garland and then what i did is i switched out the tear tray i have a black one now and then i switched it out for a white one and i just started to decorate the tear tray with some easter and spring decor This is what it looked like when I was all done. Then I moved on to the shelves that I have on the wall in my living room. Um, I didn't really do too much here. All I did was add these pink and white florals to the houses. I will link these flowers for you down below because they look so real. I even used these for Luna's first birthday and people were asking me uh, if they were real or not. That's how realistic they look. So I'll link these below for you guys. But that's really all I did here and I just ended up taking down everything that wasn't either white or pink.
So now moving on to my dining room and this is the plaid table runner that I picked up from Amazon. I will also link this down below because I know that others will love it as much as I do. And actually these, this is a uh, type of style of curtains that I would want for my living room. I just feel like it looks so much better it just uh, instead of just having like the plain pink table runner. So um, hopefully in future videos you'll see the plaid pink curtains instead of just the pink and then all I did was just add a cake stand and then add a few little uh, Easter decorations on top of that. And then these shelves that I have in the dining area, all I did was add some more of those pink and white florals. And then in this area, I just removed the succulent plants that I had and just added some cute little plants that had more pink in them so that it could really bring everything together with the pink. And then in this little kitchen window that I have that overlooks the dining area, I placed these beautiful floral stands. I picked these up at Target. And then on to the kitchen area, again, another cake stand. And I added this little lantern and added some of those pink and white florals with a little bunny. And it came out perfect. course some pink dish towels to bring everything together so now on to this two-tier tray that I have on the center island started off by just removing everything and then giving a quick little clean and just started to put uh, more Easter decor on it Do you guys also do this? Go back and forth until you find the perfect spot for everything. I do this quite a few times as you can tell. And then this area above our refrigerator, all I did was place a command hook and then add this cute Easter wreath on top. And then I moved on to my favorite place to decorate for any holiday or occasion, our entryway table. So I started off by just removing everything. I did keep a few things uh, left on there from my usual decor, but for the most part, everything was very Eastery, very spring, very bright colors.
now moving on to the bottom of the entryway table. I love with how the bottom turned out. So these stands I am totally obsessed with. They were only $3 from the Target Bullseye section. So if you have a local Target, I suggest you guys run to grab these. And then the same with the watering can, that's also from Target. And then the tulips are also from there too. So again guys, Target is the place to be for all your spring decor. And then for the bathroom, I just added some pink and white florals and then a few touches here and there of some Easter decor. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this spring and Easter decorate with me. Please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and if you're not already, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. Again, thank you guys so much. Happy spring and I'll catch you guys on the next one.